Hi guys, it's Julie from Midwest Jewels and I am back with an unboxing for you. And today I have another Quick Lots unboxing. Um, this box was a collaboration with eBay Princess and this was the Silver Spoon Mystery Box. So in this box there's supposed to be like at least one really high-end item. Um, and then um, they didn't really say how many other items were going to be in the box so it was a little bit of a gamble. I was kind of nervous. Um, I had a, my experience was okay, but I have heard that some people didn't have great experiences with this collaboration. So, um, I just wanted to show you what I got. So, um, first thing, my box was super heavy and I was like, what in the world is in here? So it's this giant book and this is the Andy Warhol interview. Like 50 years book, I think, or maybe it's just interview 50 years. I really don't know exactly, but this book, um, it retails for $250, um, from Saks. So I didn't see any sold comps. Um, obviously I mostly list on Poshmark, but I didn't think I didn't see any on eBay either. So I don't know what to sell this for. It's not something I can keep. I need to keep because Honestly, it just would sit there and gather dust. So, um, yeah, so that was one item, the heaviest item. And then um, I got this Ghani little scrunchie. These look like they're selling for like $20, $25 on Poshmark. So here's that. This is a slip silk sleep mask. And I actually just got one from Free People from like a, it was a Fab Fit Fun box, but I got it at the Goodwill. Um, anyway, it's really nice. Kind of looks like maybe it was a return or just had been tried on a few times. Cause like, I think it would have like an insert or something in here, but, um, this was at last chance for 1097. But anyway, I think I can get like 25, 30 for that. If I don't keep it. This is something I was excited to see. Some skims. Oh, oops, sorry. So came with the bag. And then um, this is a like corset waist trainer thingamabob. And it is a size XL. So these look to be going for like 40 to 50 on Poshmark. So I think with the bag, I could probably get 50 to 60. along those same silk um, lines. Let's see. This is a 100% eco silk pillowcase from Knight. Um, it's a king size pillowcase. I may keep this for myself. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, I didn't look up comps for this because I am contemplating keeping it. I haven't taken it out of here, but like it is kind of like coming out of the container. Um, so it might have been open. It does look like it's been opened, but anyway, so I haven't decided on that if it's a sell or a keep. All right. I didn't really plan this very well. Okay. So I did get a few clothing items. This is a McDougal dress and it's a size 14. I'm not going to be able to show you all, all this, but it's a freaking beautiful this long black lace evening gown it's beautiful I haven't been able to see if like oh okay well there is a tag on it so maybe it hasn't been worn because I was gonna say I haven't looked to see there isn't an it's not new with tags but um I couldn't haven't been able to really like look it over for flaws or anything but I am excited about that I think the McDougal dresses go for like 150-ish. All right, and this one is new with tags and it's a size 14 as well. This was at last chance for $28. Um, it's Tadashi Shoji. And this is the bridal line. So it's a halter dress wedding dress with white and the tan so yeah 
Um, there is some dirt on the bottom of this, like from being drug around on the floor, but honestly, it's gonna happen at a wedding anyway. Nobody's gonna know if it happened before you put the dress on or after, <laughs> but um, you could easily get that dry cleaned and some of it would probably come out. So I haven't had any luck selling it to Ashi Shoji. I actually have like three that I sent to thread up that didn't sell that I'm gonna have to sell myself. So now I have four. <laughs> And then the last clothing, well, wait, there's one more other clothing, technically. This is an ALC skirt. It's actually, I just saw that it says it's damaged. So let's see. It says the zipper's torn, which zipper works fine. Um... Here's the skirt, cute little black skirt with a belt. I see like right here, it looks like it should be sewed like that. Honestly, I don't think that's that big of a deal. The belt's gonna hide that anyway. Um, but it is new at Tags, retailed for $2.95 and it was on sale at Nordstrom Rack for $82. So yeah, I'll sell that. Okay, there was this candle from Hazel. Uh, oh no, that might be the, I don't know what the brand is. S-O-H, Melbourne, Melbourne. Anyway, Hazel High Street, S-O-H, Melbourne. It's been lit, but doesn't, I mean, doesn't really look like much has been used, if any. It smells pretty good. I might just keep it for myself. But I'll see if it's expensive. Looks expensive, but I don't know. I got this really cool Christmas ornament. <laughs> it's from Christopher Radko, which I don't know the that designer. Of, I'm not like big into Christmas ornaments, but like a really cool Christmas ornament. Um, it's handmade in Poland. It doesn't look to be damaged in any way to me, although the box was pretty smashed, but it is full of like paper. So looks good. I know some of these glass ornaments can be worth a lot. So I just haven't looked that up particularly yet. Okay, I haven't opened this yet, but let's see. Oh, it is skims. Trying to see where it opens. So I don't know how the box got torn if it's inside of a bag. And the bag's not open. I just opened it. But it says it is a crew neck long sleeve bodysuit. So let's see if that's what's in there does look to be what is in there so it's like a pinky purple what do they call this iris okay so this is small small medium so yeah essential bodysuit I don't know um there's like a tiny spot oh no that was just something I wiped off okay I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with it. So I'm guessing just the box was damaged. So, um, probably $30, $40. I've only sold one thing from Skims and it was something I bought for myself. I didn't like how it fit. And Kim wanted like $7 shipping to return it. So I just decided to sell it on Poshmark myself. <laughs> so it sold right away for my full asking, so. Okay, next is some cosmetics. So I got two of the Bye Bye Lines Foundation from It Cosmetics. Um, 
These are in the sh both in the shade Deep, sealed in package. They were on clearance. Um, retail was $38. They were clearance down to $8.74. So are those. And then I got this Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara and Lipstick Set. Probably just going to keep this for myself. I love a good designer mascara. Currently using the new Gucci one, um, which I love. And yeah, I've heard good things about Dior Show, but I've never tried it. So actually, I think I might have had like a sample. But I feel like samples don't really give like a true... idea of what the mascara is like but I know that's the point but <laughs> I feel like they don't really whenever I use a sample and I like it and then I buy the full thing it doesn't usually I don't like it the full size as much so anyway decided to try that and it comes with a little red lipstick too so. okay two three more things Two of them are the same. Then I'll show you my good item. <laughs> so this, these are, ow, hurt myself. Two boxes of Chanel beige perfumes. And so these are just mini bottles. Perfect for traveling. Um, I knew I could sell these. But I had no idea what these were selling for. So I saw another girl that got a box of a different, like I think hers was like Gardenia maybe. She sold a box, all 12 samples for $135 on eBay, like quick. But I saw that like one of these is selling for $30 free ship on eBay. And I have 24 of them. If you calculate that, that's $720. I know there's fees, shipping, whatever but like I can make my money the money that I paid for this box which was $499 I can make back with just selling these two boxes of samples that means I got all the rest of this stuff for free <laughs> so are you ready to see my big item when I pulled the box out I was like okay I could only read the side like it's missing like it's outer packaging your girl got Dyson flat iron so it's freaking amazing I mean I haven't tried it I really want to but then I'm like mm. then I want to keep it I do want to keep it but I do not do my hair enough to um, justify keeping a $500 straightener $500 for this baby and it does come with all the other people like here's the stand and it like stands and then the cord, the travel case, and the box, it's all in here. So yeah, really happy with that. I was really hoping <laughs> for my sake that I got like Gucci shoes cause I know they won't fit or like super uh, or golden goose sneakers cause I know they won't fit or like something super fancy that won't fit <laughs> but like a Dyson air straightener I could use that even if I only used it like you know two times a month or something like I could use it so can I keep it I, might. <laughs> I haven't decided but um yeah I'm really excited about those samples those Chanel samples like get those babies listed get them sold make my money back and then I don't have to feel guilty about keeping anything or if nothing else sells, you know, I did look up comps on the Dyson hair straightener and I think I could get like 350, 375 for it for sure. Um, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep it. We'll see. Anyway, let me know what you thought. Would you have spent $500 for this box? not knowing what you would get. I just had a, like a FOMO moment. Like I missed out on the suitcases, 
which I think is where the like issue is. Those weren't as good as they were promised to be. But uh, so I'm kind of glad I missed out on those. But I had definitely had FOMO about this and I snagged one and I'm not mad about it. I'm happy. I'm happy with what I got and I'd definitely make my money back and maybe have a $500 hair straightener. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.